Hey everybody, this is Steve from DIYauto.com. Today we're going to install a shift boot from Redline Goods into my Fiesta ST. So let's get started. We ordered the Alcantara uh, shift boot. We also got red stitching uh, to kind of go with the red car. Uh, so you can see, you know, compared to the fake leather stock shift boot, uh, it should make quite a big difference in how the car looks. So um, yeah, we'll get started uh, taking everything apart. There are four clips under the trim piece around the shift boot. Pry up on it using a screwdriver or a trim removal tool and it will eventually release. Now gently pry on the trim around the AC controls. With a little effort it will pop out. So there are electrical connectors in the back for these switches. So just gotta squeeze it. The, squeeze the tab on the bottom and pull it out. Okay. Here's the back of the trim piece. Here's the bottom. You can see the clips. Now unscrew the shift knob, although it may take a lot of effort to get it started. With the shift knob off, you can remove the shift boot. Just be careful not to lose the spring. Pay attention to the orientation of the reverse lockout, as you will have to install it in the same orientation when you are done. Use a couple of screwdrivers to unclip the reverse lockout from the silver trim piece. There are clips on both sides. The silver trim piece slides right out. Now you can start removing the staples that hold the shift boot to the frame. With the staples removed, you can replace the old shift boot with the new one. It helps if you have a good staple gun. Staple in the same positions as the ones that you had removed. Now you can insert the top of the shift boot into the silver trim piece and snap the reverse lockout in from underneath. Make sure the lockout is oriented correctly. Drop the spring back in and you can start screwing the shift knob back on. Make sure the reverse lockout works before you put everything back together. Plug in your switches and you can start reinstalling the trim panel. Hey everybody, uh, we have the shift boot installed. It was quite easy, it took maybe 20 minutes. Uh, the toughest part was getting the staples out and stapling the new boot in. Um, but really, if you have a decent staple gun, it's not that bad. So I would definitely recommend the Redline Good Shift Boot. It's high quality, it was easy to install, it looks great. Uh, it really dresses up the interior of the car, so uh, very happy with it. Redline Goods carries interior products for a wide range of cars and trucks. With tons of materials, colors, and stitching choices, your options are almost endless. Great prices too. Make sure to check them out. Make sure to check out DIYauto.com, the ultimate gearhead encyclopedia. Thanks for watching.